Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Kuvings Vacuum Blender. Kuvings sent me the sample so I can tell you what I think of it. It's high powered at 3.5 horsepower, 1700 watts. Vacuum blending is supposed to suck air out of the blender before blending, so whatever you're blending will be bright in color and have less foam. There's also supposed to be less separation, so you can store smoothies and juices for a day instead of drinking it right away. We'll test that out in a few minutes. All powerful blenders that I've reviewed are very loud. That's one of the negatives with a powerful blender. This Kuvings claims to be quieter using the noise reduction cover. We will measure the sound when blending to see how quiet it is. The blender measures 8.5 inches wide by 9.4 inches deep and 17.4 inches tall. It weighs 13.6 pounds. This is the base with rubber feet. The electrical cord is very long at about 52 inches. The BPA-free Triton container has a stainless steel blade assembly. It sits on the base with the handle facing front. Either right or left. On the container, there are markings in ounces and milliliters. There is a max line in red, so don't fill above that. You can fill up to 40 ounces when using fruits, vegetables, and ice. If you're making a drink with dairy products, fill up to 27 ounces. If you're using only dairy products, fill up to 20 ounces. The minimum amount for blending is 10 ounces. The lid has a vacuum plug for sealing and releasing the vacuum. Use the little handle on the lid to help remove it from the container. This is the vacuum and noise reduction cover to lessen noise during blending. It has to be on when using the vacuum function. This cover should not be put in water because the vacuum tube could absorb the water and not work properly. Just wipe it with a dry cloth if you need to. This is the tumbler. It also has markings in milliliters and ounces. The maximum fill is 23 ounces and for dairy it's 20 ounces. Comes with a lid and vacuum plug for sealing and releasing the vacuum. You cannot blend using this container, it's a storage container. The unit comes with a user guide and recipe book. There's some nutrient information on fruits and vegetables, how to prepare for blending, recipes for juices, smoothies, soups, nut milks, nut butters, and desserts. You can grind dry ingredients like coffee beans, nuts, and grains in this Kuvings. Just don't use the vacuum. There is an on off button in the back of the unit. Plug in the unit. The mark on the dial will turn red and beep. Press the dial and it'll turn blue. That means it's ready to blend. There are three buttons. The first button is for the tumbler only. It'll vacuum and mix. It does not blend. It just mixes with the ball inside. Again, this tumbler is just for storage. Put any leftover smoothie you want to store in the tumbler. Put it on the base. Press the first button to vacuum out all the air. After the vacuum cycle is finished, you can store the smoothie. The second button is vacuum and blend. It'll first suck all the air out of the pitcher and then automatically blend. It'll run for one minute and 35 seconds. When you're using the vacuum mode, Put the cover on. Make sure the gray stripe on the side of the cover matches up with this vacuum port. It's on the left back corner. During vacuum mode, the mark should turn purple. And once vacuuming is finished, it'll turn blue. The third button is blend only, is auto blend again without vacuuming, and runs for 55 seconds. When you're blending, you can manually control the speed by turning the dial clockwise. It goes from 2000 RPM to 20,000 RPM. There is a pulse function. Just turn the dial counterclockwise and it'll return to stop automatically. With most blenders, you manually turn back and forth for pulsing. With any function, give the blender a one minute break between each use. When you first get the blender, wash the containers and lids in warm soapy water and dry. They're not dishwasher safe. The base can be wiped down with a dry cloth. When you're blending, always add liquid first then high moisture foods like apples, then soft foods, then hard foods like carrots and end with ice. When you cut up fruits and vegetables, they should not be larger than an inch. When you're done blending, press the dial button or turn the dial to off position for manual blending. Lift the vacuum plug to release the lid and then lift the lid off. First, I'll make a green smoothie, a cup and a half of water. This is similar to the recipe in the Kuvings recipe book. Apple cut up into about one inch pieces little lime juice and kale. Also cut that up. It's almost up to the max line. Put the cover on. Put the container on the base. The handle should be facing front to the right or to the left. Put the cover on. 
Make sure the gray stripe is in the left back corner. We'll use the middle button that'll suck out all the air first and then auto blend. Press the dial and press the middle button. And the cycle has ended. Take the cover off, the container, release the vacuum. Notice the color turned a brighter green. The lid is hard to remove. Okay, there we go. It's a gorgeous green color. Everything's broken down and the kale is pretty smooth. It's not too gritty. I don't see any pieces that are not processed. I'm gonna try the same smoothie in my Vitamix to see if there is a difference in the texture. This is my Vitamix 5200. I reviewed it a while back. If you wanna see the full review, I'll put a link in the description below. I'll put the exact same ingredients in the Vitamix as I did in the Kuvings for the green smoothie. One green apple cut up squeeze of lime, and the kale. You see it's a nice green color, but the Kuvings shoes is a very bright green. There's a clear difference in the color. You can see there's a lot of foam on top. The Kuvings smoothie has no foam. The consistency is about the same. Let me taste this again. The consistency is nearly identical. You can see the separation is already starting to happen with the Vitamix smoothie, but the Kuvings is not separated. So you clearly can see the difference between vacuum blending and regular blending. After the first blending cycle, don't repeat the vacuum and blend because liquid could backflow. Now I'll make another drink and test the sound of the Kuvings with the cover on and the cover off. Got my sound level meter here. I've got one cup, eight ounces or 250 milliliters of water, some orange cut up, fresh strawberries, and a few ice cubes, four ice cubes. I'll use the second button for vacuum and blend. So you saw the difference in sound with the cover and without the cover. See that gorgeous color. It's a light refreshing drink. I'll put this to the side and try the same drink in the Vitamix.
This is also perfectly smooth. Again, you can see the color difference between the Kuvings and the Vitamix. Also the difference in foam. The Vitamix smoothie looks like it's already separating and the Kuvings is not. It's over two hours and you can see the difference between the Kuvings and the Vitamix. The Vitamix smoothie has separated a lot more. Some people believe the smoothie is made in a vacuum blender, retains more nutrients. I'm not going to tell you what to believe. That is really up to you. You can read up on the research and make your own decision. I'll just show you the differences visually. I do want to demonstrate the tumbler. So I'm putting the green smoothie made in the Kuvings in the tumbler. And press the first button. The cycle's finished. Turn the plug. I'm gonna make this frozen smoothie that I make all the time. 250 milliliters or one cup, eight ounces. Frozen banana, I'll just break it up into chunks. And frozen pineapple, these were already cut into about one inch chunks. Press the third button for blending only. The cycle will end automatically. If you want to try out this Kuvings, I've put a link in the description below. I don't see any chunks. It's really smooth, very creamy. There are no chunks. The frozen pineapple is very hard. I took it right out of the freezer. And the Kuvings did a great job of blending it thoroughly. It's very easy to clean. Just put a drop of mild dish detergent in the container and blend for 15 seconds. Rinse this out with water and we're done cleaning. Remember that none of the parts are dishwasher safe. Everything is hand wash only. To make shakes, ice cream, nut butters, you really need a tamper. The Vitamix comes with a tamper. With this Kuvings, you have to buy the tamper separately. And at this price, I think Kuvings should have just included the tamper. Got a few tomatoes here, and we'll try the pulse function. I've cut them up into about one inch pieces, about two cups. When you turn the dial to pulse, it automatically goes back to off. You can of course blend this if you want a tomato puree. Let's try grinding some coffee beans. Eight ounces, a cup, or 250 milliliters. Before doing any grinding of dry ingredients, make sure the pitcher is completely dry. The lid should also be dry. With dry ingredients, you should not vacuum, so I'm just gonna use the dial and increase the speed. Smells amazing. This is about a medium to coarse grind. Most of the coffee is ground pretty evenly. This is ideal for most drip coffee makers. If you want a finer grind, of course you can blend it for longer. To grind coffee, I usually use my small Krups grinder, but it doesn't fit a large amount. So it is nice to have a larger container that will do a good job on grinding coffee beans. The reason you don't wanna use vacuum when you're blending dry ingredients is because particles can get stuck in the lid and that could affect vacuum in the future. There is a motor protection sensor that prevents the motor from overheating. 
The red light on the dial will flash and beep. If you overload the ingredients, the blender will stop. Some other high-end blenders do not have this sensor. I have overloaded them at times and smell that burning smell that you don't want to smell. So that's a good feature to have. You notice some water has penetrated the handle here. It's between the rubber part and the plastic part. What you can do is remove the rubber. It's easier from the bottom. There we go. So you can wash this off and dry it and also dry the plastic. The rubber is here so that the handle is easier and more comfortable to hold. But I do think it would have been a better design to either cover the entire handle with rubber so you don't have to take it off and clean it or just leave it as a plastic handle. Just one less thing to do to clean up. You saw how this Kuvings worked, the difference in noise level with the cover and without, how well it blended, and how it keeps the drinks fresher looking and tasting for a long period of time. If you want to try out this Kuvings, I've put a link in the description below. As always, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.